Hello everybody, this is Tali Berman, Autism Specialist, and today I'm doing a special video, kind of in time for the holidays, right in the middle of the holiday season, and this is about helping you to find a certain sense of fulfillment or inner peace in your life. Because some families have shared with me, over the 20 years that I've been working with families with autistic children, that they really struggle with finding a sense of inner peace, that their lives are often riddled with feelings of stress, uncertainty, um, fear and worry. So I wanted to share this video with you to give you some insight from a dear friend of mine, Jen, who about 12 years ago was diagnosed with a neuromuscular degenerative disease, a very rare disease, and she wrote a beautiful blog piece sort of on this topic that I wanted to share with you, pieces of it, because I think there's a lot that you can really gain, I know I really gain, from the insight she has to share. So just, I wanna read a little bit of what she wrote here. She wrote, in the past 12 years of living with this disease has shattered my preconceived notion of what's required to live a happy life. I used to believe that everything had to be okay in order to feel okay. I hadn't yet learned that life could be simultaneously uncertain, scary, frustrating, fulfilling, and satisfying. Now, that's a piece I want to talk about because many parents I work with, especially those who've had recently received a diagnosis or are further along on their journey, express the uncertainty, sometimes the fear, the concern that has really been a big part of their lives. So the question is, how can you simultaneously hold that experience and experience inner peace and fulfillment? Is one exclusive of the other or can they both be offered in a, in a single experience. So what she really writes about is how she has found a way to live a life that is simultaneously has pockets of uncertainty and frustration and fear, and at the same time, fulfillment and satisfaction and inner peace. So her article is about exploring how she can do that, and that's what I wanna share with you. So Harvard researchers, she writes, have spent the last 80 years conducting one of the world's longest longitudinal, longitudinal studies in an effort to answer that very question, how? How can you live a life that simultaneously might have some uncertainty or things might not seem okay at times or look okay at times, but yet also experience uh, inner peace and fulfillment? And the results revealed that more than money, more than fame, or career success, it's close relationships that keep people happy. That relationships are the most potent therapeutics. And that's the message I really wanna share with you from my friend Jen, and I'm actually gonna post on this blog beneath this video the full article so you can read more about her journey, more about what she's learned um, in what I just shared with you. But this is the important piece, because there might be times in your life with your child where things feel uncertain. Your child's future might feel uncertain to you. Where your child's gonna be at school next year might feel uncertain to you. What's gonna happen when you go out to the grocery store today with your child? Is he gonna have a meltdown? Is he not gonna have a meltdown? Might feel uncertain to you. There's parts that might feel scary to you. But focusing on this aspect of relationships as a potent therapeutic, as a way to simultaneously in your life really have an experience of fulfillment and inner peace, I think is a really beautiful message to share, especially around the holidays when you are spending time typically with your family, with your, the people that are closest to you, and to really focus on deriving joy and satisfaction from those relationships in your life. This can be a relationship with your partner, your primary partner. This could be relationships with your siblings, with your sister, with your brother, with your closest friends. And this can also be about the relationship with your child, right? Because oftentimes there's so much focus on checklists and IEPs and goals and strategies. What's often missed is that actual primary relationship, the joy and delight of being with your child, the joy and delight of spending time together in the simple things, whether it be snuggling or tickling or going for a walk or just being together side by side quietly. And recognize that is a very important fuel for you. That is an important therapy for you. And sometimes it just takes a little bit of awareness to bring that into the spotlight, to recognize this is the very thing that can help bring more joy and more inner peace and more fulfillment in my life. So I wanted to offer that to you. I thought that was a really beautiful message, something that I think is very true for me. I feel that my relationships are absolutely primary in my life and are more important than anything else, both in my friendships and in my family relationships. 
And so I wanted to share that with you if there's times on your journey with your child or the children that you work with that you feel a certain sense of uncertainty or fear that bringing your focus to the relationship and deriving joy and delight from those relationships can really help create a sense of inner peace and fulfillment in your own lives. So I wish you all a beautiful holiday season and I would love to hear from you how that's true for you. How have relationships and focusing on relationships and the closeness of those relationships help bring more joy and fulfillment in your life? Hop on down, join the conversation. I'd love to hear from you.